Welcome to the Women's Industrial Exchange. I'm Trina Moore, the shop manager. We've been here since 1808, serving Baltimore, Maryland for 130 years. Our history starts back when it was illegal for women to work or even vote. What they would do with the exchange is bring down their quilt and we would give them money to support their families. Today it's all local artists. Everyone in here is in Maryland and they bring their hand goods in and we're a consignment shop. So we get a percentage and they get a percentage. So it's a 70-30 split. So we're teaching the consigner to be an entrepreneur now. So we started back in 1880 helping the community and helping the woman just to uh, financially get herself aboard when we weren't able to work. So that's basically how we started. We had a lot of help from board members. So today we still exist of 12 board members that run the exchange. We have um, two restaurants, the Women's Industrial Exchange Kitchen, which also started back in 1880, was actually called the Tea Room back then. We also have Zach and Jack's downstairs, which is a um, restaurant which is for breakfast specialties, and it's all handmade locally there too. Before it was Zach and Jack's back in history, it was the underground. So it was like the happening spot for young bachelors to come here, and all travelers and visitors would come to the exchange. And to this day, we have a lot of tourists and travelers coming here today just to see the exchange. This isn't the only exchange that's been here. I kind of like to know we have the state now, which is great. And you can see the growth of the exchange and the need for small businesses and the need for women to want to be able to express their handcrafts. So that's what we do. We showcase their handcrafts. We market their items. When their first item sells, we get them a call and tell them uh, who bought that product, uh, the race, the age group, and what they said about that product. We now partner with Web, which is Women Entrepreneur of Baltimore, and they've also partnered with the Small Business Administration. So now we're able to take that entrepreneur woman to the next step and show her how to do a business plan and show her how to get into a retail chain. Being that we have other women's industrial exchange, we're in the process now of linking up with other exchanges and putting our top items into their other stores. So for example, um, my vest that is perfect for a Christmas gift can now be in the New York store. So now it's like she's now in a retail chain from exchange to exchange. So if you're looking or thinking about making a handcraft, we teach everything in here as well. So whatever you see in our, in our store, we have a class to show you how to make as well. If you walk around with me, I can show you some specialties that we specialize in. We have Hootie Hoo Bear, which is only Baltimore books, all about Baltimore and the location. He also sang for you for Christmas. We're known for our tutus. We're known for our sock monkeys as well. Um, we have beautiful jewelry. Right now we're in the mode for Christmas, which is all about retail. So all of our consigners have brought in new Christmas items to market it. We're doing dynamite in the store right now. We had our 130th anniversary on October the 31st. Um, that was broadcast on WBAL Channel 11. We have a newsletter out right now. So we're bridging that gap now. We've always been there for the community, but to actually take it to the part where we're now teaching them to have their own store. And the mayor of Baltimore is also partnering with us where she has buildings for a dollar. So it's operation um, storefront. Yeah, so I have people who do repurpose things such as Christmas bulbs that are actually made from uh, the original bulbs that are actually stuck in there. I also have men in here, so we do consign and help men as well. I have Ricky of Baltimore who does the Bugs of Baltimore, which is a great product. Once again, we do a lot of repurposing. We have jewelry that has uh, nickels on it, so we're repurposing money. We also have the button jewelry. I'm also the button lady of Baltimore. We do the buttons to show kids that you can take anything, even a button off of your shirt, and make it into your own company. So it's just showing them their imagination and their Creativity of just having your own business in which you can actually start your business with with just a small button. We also have the leather lady. She's known for her breast cancer awareness. She has breast cancer and she does the um, leather earrings and leather belts, shoes. Her chemo makes her hands uh, tense so she likes to constantly keep them moving so she does the leather. We partner with a lot of nonprofit organizations. We're also a nonprofit organization. We have seven departments in the back for low-income women. Uh, we have groups of jewelry from different women all over Maryland. This lady here goes to estate sales and buys brass and beats it into jewelry, as well as soaps. We have soaps, themed soaps of Baltimore, as well as cards, to Christmas cards, to anniversary cards, to birthday cards, handmade cards, to wine bottle covers. So once again, we're always into repurposing. This is actual sleeve that you could use as a wine cover. We're right now partnering with WBAL, and we're on monthly, and we bring down the consigner of the month. So this is giving that consigner that extra step to market herself as well. 
not only can you be in exchange, but also to be on television, where that's the best advertisement you can get. It makes their website, which we built their website here if they don't have a website. So it takes them to that extra step.